Jesus Christ. Friends and family, we gather today in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to give thanks to God for the life of David Tate, to remember the ways that his life touched ours, to entrust him to God's keeping, and to receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit and to proclaim the good news of eternal life in Jesus Christ. Friends, here a, a brief scripture from Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! Our soul longs, indeed it faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sorrow finds, even the sparrow rather, finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, our God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. He bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. Friends, when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might have new life. For if we have been united with Christ in a death like his, for certain we will be raised in new life like his. Friends, let's pray together. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, you formed us from the dust of the earth and by your breath you gave us life. We glorify you. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, you tasted death for all humanity. And by rising from the grave, you open the way to eternal life, and we praise you. Holy Spirit, author and giver of life, you are the comforter of all who mourn, our sure confidence and everlasting hope, and we worship you. To you, O blessed Trinity, be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Marnie, would you lead us? I'll let Jay tell the story of um, how God sent her this song, but it's... Well, the song that we're going to uh, listen to Marnie sing this morning was used in David's funeral service, and it was very interesting because uh, Lynn Weber, who conducted the service, turned to me and said, we were sitting in the chapel, no one else was there but us, and she said, okay, what do we want to do for a song? And I said, okay, I don't know, let's ask Mom. So. Uh, I looked up and I thought a moment and I pulled out the hymnal and I was discretionary not to open it just exactly in the middle. And when I opened it, it landed on the beautiful hymn that Marnie is about to sing. And there were many things about it that touched my heart and I told Lynn it was uh, about the animals and it was about the forest and it was about crea creation and it was about creatures. And we're big nature lovers and it fell into place. Thank you, Marnie. Lovely. It's called We Wait the Peaceful Kingdom. We wait the peaceful kingdom when wolf and lamb shall lie in gentleness and friendship without a fear or sigh. When lion shall be grazing when snake shall never strike, a little child shall lead us, both strong and weak alike. Where is the peaceful kingdom 
When will this new day start? We long in peace and comfort to reign within each heart. Yet not in our lives only, nor simply in our home. We pray that all creation will one day find shalom. That little child shall lead us to walk the chosen way, to share the peaceful kingdom, to greet God's new more day. The child born in a stable is sent to break our chains, to bring through word and table the day when justice wins. John.